Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you the look from my March favorites that a few of you have requested and that is just a blue and navy gradient blended eye. I really like the way it turned out so if you are interested in learning how to do this, please stay tuned. Okay, so to kind of speed up this video, I went ahead and did my foundation and my eyebrows and I'm starting off with NYX HD Eye Primer. I love this primer. It is incredibly inexpensive, so I definitely suggest it if you are in the market for a new primer. I am following that up with a matte white shadow on a shader brush, a flat shader brush. I'm just putting that in the inner about a third of my eye and also underneath my eyebrows just to brighten up the look and make sure that that is all in place so that it doesn't get covered with any of our dark colors on accident. And then I'm using Stealth by Makeup Geek, which is a beautiful matte gray color. It is stunning, it is super pigmented and incredibly creamy, and I just, I am obsessed with Makeup Geek shadows. They are gorgeous. But I am just putting this on the middle portion of my eye, about the middle third, and making sure to kind of semi-blend it into the white as I go. And then I'm using this navy blue color by NYX. I don't know, I can't find it. It was one of their matte collection. It may be discontinued now, but any really, matte navy color would work and I'm just putting that on the outer third of my eye just really packing on the color because I want it to be pretty dark out there And next I'm going in with Bamboo from MAC. I really like this color as a transition color. It's very light so you don't see it a lot and it helps kind of just blend the colors a little bit more together. Since the darker colors are pretty dang dark, they are a little bit difficult to blend. But you just gotta keep at it, keep blending, keep blending until your arm falls off, just keep blending. And then I'm gonna go in and just kind of intensify each of the colors individually, make the white a little bit more white, the gray a little bit more gray, and the blue a little bit more blue and just kind of make it a little bit darker since some of it kind of faded since we blended. And then I'm going in and blending once again just to make sure that everything looks nice. I'm going in with quite a bit more dense brush this time since the colors are pretty dark. I want it to be really blended. Then I took both the gray and blue, mixed them on my pencil brush and running that underneath my eye. Then I'm going in with my Eco Tools smudger brush and again just kind of blowing it out and make sure that it is incredibly soft and blended and just take your time on the lower lash line. It, it really makes a difference. So. That is exactly what I'm doing, is taking my time and making sure that those colors are super, super blended. And I'm taking a matte black color. This is one is also from the NYX Champagne and Caviar, or Caviar and Bubbles, whatever it's called, um, palette. <laughs> and I'm just putting that in my outer V just to darken up the navy a little tiny, tiny bit. I don't want to change the color of the navy, I just want to deepen it up. So that's why I'm adding so little of the black and then blending it all together just to make sure that it looks seamless and beautiful. I've told you guys before, blending is the name of the game when it comes to makeup. And then I'm doing a winged liner, just my standard winged liner that I tend to always do. And this time I'm using the Collection Noir um, Liner by NYX. Apparently I really like NYX lately. <laughs> And then I'm going in with a, gosh Luna is so distracting, I'm going in with a navy pencil liner and this one's from Rimmel and it's actually just called navy blue and I'm running that in the waterline. I didn't want to use black because I didn't want it to be too dark so the navy worked out perfectly. And then of course mascara, mascara, mascara. I don't like wearing false eyelashes all that often so I add tons and tons and tons of mascara. And 
And then I'm going in with my NARS blush. I hate the name of this, but it's called Super Orgasm. It's, I don't know why they name it such ridiculous names, but um, I'm just popping that on the outer apples of my cheeks and back, and it's just a beautiful coral color. It's very similar to um, just plain orgasm, but this one has lots and lots of glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter, but you like this color, I would go with the orgasm rather than the super or this that's the silliest name in the world Blech. and then I'm going in with a highlighter I'm using the Mary Luminizer by the balm and then following that up with an NYX butter lipstick which is super creamy I love this stuff and then covering it with a butter gloss I this is just like an NYX tutorial I didn't realize it till just now but NYX is awesome and I love it right now and I'll put all the colors and descriptions down below and I'm gonna go ahead and set all my look with the e.l.f. makeup setting spray, which I'm just still testing out, so I don't know if I love or not yet, but that is it. I really like the way this turned out. I like how bright it makes your eyes look, and you can use this with any kind of colors. Um, you can use this with pinks, browns, blacks, anything you really want, depending on the look you are going for. Thank you so much for watching. I super duper appreciate it. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, I would love it if you would subscribe and kind of hang out with me. So thanks again, guys. Bye. <laughs> the arsonist has oddly shaped feet. Ow now, round cow. Ow now, round cow. I mean, it can. It's not. That word does not mean what you think it means. It means like a stick of pepperoni. Oh, pepperoni. Obviously. I need to get like a word of the day thing. <laughs> I can't even think. Word of the day calendar. Oh my god. I don't even know the word calendar. Of course I need a word of the day calendar. I need to expand my vocabulary to the word calendar. Something out of there about to be of use.